In today's video, we're testing the non-stick power of a couple of pans versus several types of adhesive. You have a pan. Non-stick pans are excellent for many types of things. Um, Mostly for not sticking stuff to your pans. Mostly for, yeah, for keeping <laughs> your food from sticking to your pans. That's the primary thing that they're good for. Yeah. You could also use them as like a smacking somewhere over the head in a pinch, but okay, Flynn. I don't think the non-stick properties help very much with that. So I wanted to see just how non-stick is non-stick. What if you have something that's supposed to stick? What's gonna win? Will the pans be more non-stick or will the glues be more stick? You get what I mean. Here's the basic idea. We've got four types of glue and some very sticky tape, as well as some non-stick pans. Which is going to be more powerful, the stickiness of the glue or the non-stickiness of the pans? So we're gonna try this out. I was originally thinking super glue, but I thought, why just super glue? Let's try, try several things at once. Yeah. So some of these aren't even glues. Like, doesn't this register as cement? It's just called Con contact cement. cement. It's a glue. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do contact cement. We've got some two-part epoxy. Okay. We've got super glue, mm -hmm. and we've got just a spray all-purpose adhesive. Yep. I don't think that's supposed to be as strong, but we had some, I thought it'd be fun to try. Okay. Along with that, we have some T-Rex tape, which I have used in the past and found to be very good at sticking to things. Not just sticking to things, it's strong. We've used one strand to hold our body weight up before. I don't think we ever actually filmed that. It was just us randomly testing it one time. Well, that was, uh, so there's a different variety of T-Rex tape that's specifically like super, super strong against tearing. Yes. But that type of tape, while what, was it, it was amazingly strong, and yeah, we could literally hang, like she was saying, we could hang from one loop of it, but yeah, it didn't stick very well. It like peel off stuff. So this is the not quite as strong for tearing strength, but stickier version of it. It's okay. like, it's the, the side of it is like sticking to my hands and stuff like that. So it's uh, pretty sticky stuff. Most of these, I'm not sure exactly how long all of them are supposed to go for maximum stickiness, but mm -hmm. the epoxy says that it cures in one hour. Okay. And so I think we should take all of them, apply them to the pans, let them sit for one hour, and then come back and see how well things have stuck. Rather than just putting plain glue on, I do want to try gluing stuff to it. And I thought we could use just some cotton cloth because the glue is going to like permeate into the fibers. Yeah, it'll and soak it up. It'll really stick to this. Uh, in the case of the super glue, it will chemically bond to the cotton like immediately. So I thought we could just take pieces of this uh, t-shirt that's too big for us yep. and glue them to the pan, let it all cure for an hour and see how easily we can pull it off. And then I've also got, this is just a scrap piece of aluminum and we can also glue onto the aluminum with all of the glues and see how well it glues to a non-stick non, non surface. A non-non-stick stick of aluminum. Exactly. There we go. Got our fabric scraps. Do you want to mix up some epoxy? Sure. I'll start with some contact cement, which to use contact cement, you are supposed to apply a thin layer of it to both surfaces, let it sort of dry on both, and then attach them together. So I'm just going to spread some contact cement right here. There you go. I'm also going to spread it on the cloth. I'm just going to set the cloth next to it. I'm not going to attach it yet. Just going to let it sit out until it starts to get tacky. I'm going to do that for all three surfaces. Super glue is beating up quite a bit on this pan surface. Interesting. Now we're going to set that there, and it is cotton, which can chemically react with super glue. We'll see if it starts to smoke or something as it reacts. I've seen that happen with cotton before. I do think that my contact cement has now dried enough that I can press the cloth down onto it. So I'm just going to do that on all three of them. Once it's in that tacky stage, as soon as it touches, it kind of just immediately begins to stick to itself. Nice. All right, let's go for like a penny, nickel, somewhere in there sized little dollop. All right, and now our spray glue. If you wanna, it's gonna be tough to keep it in just a small little area, but just give it one little tsk. Cool, and then on the other two. And 
then we can also take a strip of our tape. I don't know if it makes any difference to let it sit for an hour, but the adhesive in tape does actually settle down into stuff. So it usually is a stronger grip after at least some more time. So I'm just gonna take a strip of it, press it down onto the pan, and then we'll let that sit for the same hour that we let all of the other types of glue sit. I like it. With the pans here, we've got two different types of non-stick pans. This is one of the, as seen on TV, Granite Stone brand pans. I've seen multiple YouTubers do tests of these and it seems to be quite good. I was very surprised because it is such a rough surface. Yeah, it's not nice and like really smooth, but mm -hmm. I, I think that's actually supposed to help a little bit. Okay. And then this one is the OXO brand. I watched a video where some people did side-by-side -side testing of multiple types of non-stick pans. And this one not only worked well, but held up working the longest. Like I, I think they were doing like, they would cook 50 eggs in each pan, just one after the other. And this one they said was what they thought was a good one. So we've got, yeah, that's why we've got these two types of nonstick pans. Okay. And we're just gonna. And how did you choose your aluminum bar? It was on the floor. It's been an hour. Which is how much time the longest one of these takes to cure. At least we think so. Not all of them say like, oh, total cure time. Yeah. Eh. Everything feels crunchy. It's not sticking to my hand. The tape at least sticks to that one enough to lift it. Do you want to start with the tape? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't think super glue is going <laughs> to stick very well. I didn't, I this wasn't even This just fell touching. off the pan under its own weight. Now, now that's an indication, but you're not exactly pulling against it. No. So I'm going to, I'm going to start on this one, our, okay. our control. Um, I'm just going to pull against the direction and see, okay. that seems stuck. You it nearly was punched Mark. It was, yeah, our cameraman leaned over and it, it seems stuck. So pull that one. How would you rate that as like a stickiness? Three. Did it come off fairly easily? It did. So I think what's happening oh. here is. Yeah, it's a little easier. Yep. It's not like zero stick, but it does kind of okay. just release. Pull from the side though. It's tougher. It is tougher. Yes, but it's straight still, up, it, it comes, still came off. Comes off. Um, so just quickly, like pushing it on, it holds a little. You can see I'm lifting the pan, but it is pretty easy to take off. If I if I do the same thing on the aluminum, I mean, it easily lifts the whole thing, but much more difficult to pull off. It's not like this is impossible to get off, and this is just falling off the way that super glue did. But mm -hmm. it's just it's not as sticky. Okay. So some stick but less stick. Uh, super glue, clearly Didn't even have does not stick to that one. I wanna see it on the aluminum, how much this sticks. Oh, that came no. off the aluminum very easily. Huh. Very, and it's weirdly, almost... it left a lot of residue behind. Good. So it like kind of tore through. It's almost like you're not supposed to use super glue for metal. Please. Oh, <laughs> oh, that, that offered just the very barest of, just, oh, there's some dried super glue on here. And even this with my fingernail, it's scratching just- Scratching off. Coming right off of that surface. Let's see if I can scratch off of the aluminum here. No. There isn't any residue for me to scrape off of this one. Okay, so not a great bond. It just broke off of the aluminum, but off of these two, it just kind of released on its own. Yeah, and but there's just nothing there on this one. I wanna try the spray glue. Okay. okay. It felt very tacky. Um, mm -hmm. it, it did come off without too much resistance and I was just pulling it sort of an angle here. It obviously did stick to the metal some, but I think it's the glue itself just sort of separated out the, the layers of it. So I'm gonna pull sort of at an angle like I did with that one. I wanna try and lift the pan with it. Oh. Oh, I don't think that's an option. So we had glue over all this area and we do mm -hmm. have some stuck left over here, although, oh, that just rolls Peels off. right off. Again, this stuff is meant to be photo okay. safe. So it's sort of meant to be able to. Does not come off of the aluminum bar. Try try with your pan. Oh, oh. not able to lift a pan by it. No. And no, no resi residue. What? I'm getting so many of these pans. Try the contact cement. See how sticky it is to that bar. Yeah. It's a pretty good stick. Okay, not bad. Good amount of residue mm -hmm. still on Fully the bar dry. and it does not scrape off easily. Nope. All right, well, let's try our respective pans. See if you can lift it. Nope, no. not, wow. So. <laughs> it left a smooth Just, surface. just peeled it right up and off. Uh, no residue left here. Oh, I dripped some right here and oh, that just, just peeled, peeled, off. rolled right off. 
Mm. Absolutely. It didn't even try. All right, go for the epoxy. All right. This is the one we let cure for an hour because it said it needed an hour. Clearly can lift up our aluminum bar. No! Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, that would have held pretty well. Can I lift the pan from the epoxy? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, that just lifted off instantly. The answer is I, just no. It didn't move at all. It just whoop, peeled right up. How about yours? Ooh, we have lift. What? It this is a one's rougher texture. texture, so it might be mechanically, not chemically <laughs> bonded, but mechanically bonded. Okay, okay, so that did peel off very nicely. Yes. No residue left behind. Mine also with the epoxy yeah. had no residue. So what we now have is two almost completely clean pans with no glue residue left on them whatsoever. Wow. And the glue has utterly failed against the non-stickness of these pans. That is, uh, that's pretty impressive. So now we know wow. this non-stick uh -huh. is much greater than this stick and this stick All and that stick and that stick All and this sticks. stick. It's, it's non-stick. This one still wins. That one did have There's slightly no less residue. residue. Yeah. Yes. The super glue is traveling. It's not even bothering to attempt to stay in one place on this. Okay. Come on, super glue, try for me. Just try. All right. Okay. Yeah, it didn't even, just a chunk of cured super glue now. So, non-stick pans truly are non-stick. Non are there any other sticky substances you'd like to see us pit against our non-stick pans to see which is greater, the non-stick or the stick? Let us know. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new cool stuff coming out. Go ahead and click that button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a cool video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.